honestly, I had no idea what I was getting into. <laughs> how I discovered magic. I think magic discovered me. naturally performer very young age as I remember just love being the center of the attention <laughs> My dad, he borrowed a camera when I was a kid. I don't even remember but <laughs> I see this footage of me reading over and over again some books that I liked in front of the camera over and over again like I'm literally getting ready for some type of performance, I don't know. <laughs> he figured out how to hook this camera to the television that we had and I was in heaven. I literally was seeing myself on TV dancing and singing. I was completely out of control. I think I'm still I am though. <laughs> show was a puppet show. <laughs> I didn't have professional puppets or where would you get puppets in Hungary? <laughs> so I just had those little dolls and I just somehow hung a blanket. I was hiding behind and then I was like performing Romeo and Juliet for my family. I think they did walk out though. I think they realized if they going to stay I'm literally going to perform the whole book. It's literally started at page one and I just reading it and acting it out. Just, I don't know what I was thinking. When I was learning magic, at least it was some type of guidance of different, I was learning different effects, different routines, writing and cutting out, like creating my own little tickets and then going over to my grandma and inviting her to the show and basically selling tickets for my own full evening show. <laughs> She was just saving everything. She saved a lot of things that she didn't want to throw away or she thought it can come in handy one day. I have discovered a magic kit which was done by a quite famous Hungarian magician. His name is Rodolfo. I was playing around with it and discovering like, Ooh, what is that? My parents brought me to a summer camp, like a summer activity house. I'm not sure how they call it. I wanted to do acting. My parents just thought after do anything to have that energy just come out of her because I was like unstoppable, literally. They didn't have anything like acting or dancing or singing. They had nothing like that, but they had other creative things like painting, sculpting. I do remember that was magic and they are asked me if I'm interested to take a magic class. I have to tell you, I was hooked. Kezdem volt hozzá, hogy én is tanuljak egy kis bűvészkedést. Ő a kis cégmon Kati, aki már hat évesen tudta, bűvész szeretne lenni. My teacher has organized performances in the summer camp in this activity home or whatever it was. And I remember we were forming some illusions with having someone appear from boxes or whatever it was and we actually made it up. You know, if you were serious about it, you had to make it, you had no other choice. So for me, very naturally came that everything that I wanted to create or, or perform with, I have to make. I'm very grateful that I actually started this craft with that mentality because I was forced into it or that was like a natural thing. You want something, you have to make it. Are you interested about something? Figure it out. I wanted to learn more. I really liked my teacher. I was very comfortable with him. I asked him to take me under his wings and he said yes. He had an outdoor performance and he wanted to give me a chance to show 
my skill. And my teacher suggested to start to do competition. I was mortified and uh, my teacher didn't give me much instructions on stage performance. He just said, make sure you take your time to showing whatever you're doing for everybody in the audience. Well, that turned out to be me running back and forth on stage. I had bangs like this long and I wanted to make sure nobody would see me <laughs> and I would not see anyone. So I just allow my bangs to just cover my face like that and I'm literally running back and forth. If you fast forward the footage, it's that. We have to go through this in front of other humans <laughs> for you to then discover your own way and be comfortable. A few days later, an article came out, quite popular newspaper, and one of the headlines about me, how awful that was that he actually think he saw because it was very obvious for him and how I'm trying to perform and all that stuff. Can you imagine like me sort of like writing a blog post or going on Twitter and like sort of like passionately be angry about some 10 year old doing something? <laughs> but I'm very proud of my younger self not letting me be stopped because of that negative feedback. I guess I just made the right decision that age that I'm not gonna allow any idiot to stop me. Yo. I watched the gala show. This was the first time I have ever seen professional magicians live on stage. I couldn't believe what can be done if it's done well. And that is how my parents asked one of the performers at the gala show if he's interested about teaching me some magic. My new act, a new teacher, competitions, I was ready. I was determined I'm going to I'm going to do this, but I'm going to tell you about that in the next video if you're interested about how I moved forward. <laughs> I'm hoping this little story of mine encourage you. I will link my video about my first magic props if you're interested about that. <laughs> then you can go ahead and check it out. Thank you so much for all your support, as always. Thank you for watching and if you have any comments or suggestions write me in the comment below. I'm also writing a blog, it's my website, so if you want to follow me, subscribe. I always upload upcoming posts, pictures and videos there first, so make sure that you do check it out and also you can send me messages through there. Thank you for suggesting making this video. I really don't think I would have made this if it wasn't for you. I just never felt the urge that I need to go back to memory lane, but here I am. <laughs> Anything else that you want me to share with you, do let me know. And as always, I will see you guys next week. Bye.